Hey there everyone, Brady Bot here, and today I'm going to be presenting a concept called Frozen Suits. Now the hand that we're presenting is a little bit of a strange one. You'll see what I mean when we get to a certain point in the play. Um, and I didn't declare this hand all that well. I was kind of a laser focused on presenting the concept of a frozen suit. So I missed a couple of rather obvious things. But you'll see what I mean when we get there. Nonetheless, I think this illustrates the idea very well, and that's why I've selected this hand to present. Um, so this was played in a friendly match against a player who just participated in the most recent, recent US Junior Team Trials. Um, we were playing a bunch of boards, it was match point style, and this was, I think, the second session of boards that we played. So this was board 18 out of 32. Um, but pretty good player that I was competing against, so it was important for me to be a little sharp and try and take as many tricks as I could on all the boards. We open a no trump in second seat with our 15 count, red on white. Partner transfers us into hearts, and we bid two hearts. I'm not gonna get a lot into the bidding here, but for the robots, any sort of jump to the three level in a major tends to show maximum in terms of values. With our 15, we can't really treat this as a maximum. Some players use better systems over transfers into major suits. Like some people would play three hearts, could show four trumps in a minimum, and two no trump might be some sort of maximum super accept type thing. Uh, but we don't have that available to us. So we bid two hearts. Partner bids three no trump, offering us a choice of games, and we correct back to four hearts. The opening lead is a jack of clubs. And there were a couple of subtle mistakes that I think I made during the play, one of which occurred at trick one. I'm not going to dwell on them too much, but I'm just going to kind of point out uh, a couple of slightly better options that I could have utilized during the play. Um, so at the offset, we have no club losers. We have a diamond loser, we have presumably a spade loser, and at least one trump loser. Now hearts could be 4-0, but we can actually pick up a 4-0 trump split with east, provided we have enough entries to eventually get back to the dummy and hook multiple times against east 10 9 third remaining after we play a heart to the king and force out the ace. Uh, so for that reason, I think wasting the Queen of Clubs as a potential entry to dummy was a bit of a mistake. I probably should have won the King of Clubs um, and led a heart to the King at trick two. Uh, but we weren't punished on this deal. You know, there's no guarantee, even if trumps are 4 0, that we're going to be able to pick it up. Clubs could be 5 1 for all we know, and when we try and cross back in dummy to dummy in clubs, East Roughs. Um, but. Anyway, you know, you want to take all of the small chances that you can get to pick up as many bad splits as possible. So I played the Queen of Clubs at trick one, and then I made another small mistake, once again, of just leading the four of hearts. Again, we still want to attempt to pick up four zero trumps if possible with East, so leading the four of hearts was a mistake. I can't, I was never planning on running the four of hearts if East plays the three on this trick. Um, and so just leading the King of Hearts would have been slightly better. But East plays the 10, we win the Heart Queen, we played back the Jack of Hearts, and we see a club discard from West. Um, and on the next trick, East plays the Eight of Diamonds. So I haven't talked at all about Frozen Suits, but here we go, it's time to start. Ace-10, double-ten of spades, opposite queen, double-ten. This is kind of the stereotypical frozen suit combination. What a frozen suit is, is it means that neither opponent can lead that suit profitably from their side. So in this case, if east has the king of spades and west has the jack of spades, if east leads away from the king, we duck in our hand, win the queen and dummy, we have no losers. If west leads away from the jack, we don't put up the queen from dummy, but instead we play low, the 8. This will force out East King, otherwise we win the 10, and then the Queen of Spades will be a winner. So again, we would have no losers in the suit. This is what we're hoping for. We don't know that's the layout of the Spades suit. 
there are some minor indications um, that that could be what's going on. For starters, West pitched a club instead of some sort of encouraging spade on the previous heart. Um, and additionally, East elected not to switch to a spade. The small doubleton diamond kind of indicates that if Declare, myself, had very strong diamonds, I might be using those to discard a spade loser from the dummy. So if East was not looking at the spade king, they might be very tempted to just lead a low spade right now, hoping to set up a trick. Um, so for a lot of reasons, I think East probably has the spade king, but we still don't exactly know about the jack of spades. One thing I do know about these opponents specifically is that they would much prefer to lead from small cards rather than honors, making that jack of clubs lead which now looks like it's possibly from length, jack 10, eight, fifth or fourth maybe, um, a slightly less attractive lead to them specifically than it, it would be from, for example, three or four small spades. So we may well have this frozen suit on our hands, but what does that mean? How do we take advantage of this? Well, because the opponents can't lead the suit, they also can't discard down to a singleton in either hand in this suit, which means they basically have to retain two cards and spades at all times. This opens up the door for a bunch of squeezes. Uh, the reason why they can't pitch down to a singleton is for East, if they come down to a singleton king of spades, well, we can just cash the ace. And if West comes down to a singleton jack of spades, we can't quite cash the ace, but if we are able to get over to the dummy after this has happened, we'll be able to lead the queen of spades pinning the jack and setting up our ten for an extra trick. So because east and west basically have to keep two spades throughout the duration of the play, this means that if we can run all of our tricks and very important point, end in north's hand so that we have the potential to pin the jack of spades if West comes down to a singleton jack. Um, at trick 11, we might be able to exit a card. For example, a low diamond from the dummy. End playing whoever wins that trick into leading spades for us and giving us the last two tricks in the spade suit. So that should be our goal. Well, what does that mean? For starters, it means we need to preserve that seven of diamonds, or three of diamonds, whichever one we prefer. Uh, but the beer card looks nicer as an exit card, for sure. So we should win the ace of diamonds on this trick. There is some possibility that East was trying to be a little clever, like under-leading the king-queen of diamonds, but it's, it's a little unrealistic. Even if East knew that we had both the ace and jack of diamonds in our hand, they couldn't be certain that it wasn't ace-jack doubleton, in which case they would just be blowing a trick. Um, so it's a little risky to put in the jack of diamonds, not just because it messes with this possibility we have of utilizing a frozen suit later, but for a bigger reason, clubs can be 5-1 and we haven't pulled the last trump. East could easily be getting a club rough if we duck this diamond trick around to west. So we win the diamond ace, and because clubs could be 5-1, we need to pull the last trump, so we do lead the Eight of Hearts to the King. And note, the Eight of Hearts was led to the King. Very important, because we still need to be in the dummy for the possibility of pinning the Singleton Jack. Well, let's get to it. So we need to cash the clubs and cash the hearts. We play a club to the King. East does, in fact, show out, which is good news for us. And we lead a club to the Nine. We play the ace of clubs, East pitches a diamond, and here's kind of where things get a little weird. I was so focused on presenting this hand as a frozen suit problem that I didn't just pitch a spade and eventually rough the queen of spades in my hand. Instead, I pitched a diamond, um, which made the play a little bit more complicated but nonetheless makes for excellent content. I'm very excited and very happy that I did this because I can actually present this video. Um, had I just pitched the Ten of Spades, we would not have been able to see the ensuing end play in action. 
So now I cash two hearts. And we're in dummy at trick 12. Well, if you haven't been counting, the opponents are down to four spades between them. So it sounds like East has King Doubleton and West has Jack Doubleton, right? And two diamonds between them. So it sounds like East might have, East could have the King remaining, East could have a small one, West has the other diamond. And that means we can just exit a diamond and, and play the opponents into giving us the last two spades, right? That's what this whole video has been about. Well, not exactly. <laughs> so as with a large number of squeezes that aren't of the automatic fashion, this squeeze does require you to count the opponent's cards if possible and use some, do some detective work as to what's going on uh, defensively. So the only way to make the contract from here is to actually pin this jack of spades. And this is why it's very important that we're on lead in the north hand at trick 11 for this you know, frozen suit to be utilized or this squeezed, depending on what you want to term it. Um, because if we were to exit a diamond, West would just win the king of diamonds and cash a diamond. We would get our ace of spades to make our contract, but that's not what we want. So after some detective work, I was able to correctly identify the position. I did lead the queen of spades. East played small. Good play. You know, if I, if I was convinced that West might have the singleton king at this point, maybe I get scared and hop up with the ace. But we did pin the singleton jack. We cashed the ace of spades and eventually conceded a diamond. We made our 11 tricks. Uh, which could have been done a lot simpler if we just pitched a spade on the ace of clubs. So, I mean, I quickly stepped through the hand from the very start, but it's, it's a bit of a complicated uh, position to understand because not only do you need to be familiar with this concept of a frozen suit, but you need to be counting really well and also guessing very well. The opponents did quite well throughout to discard down to exactly the correct number of spades. If they had kept three diamonds and three spades remaining in the end position, we would know that exiting a diamond was not correct, and then we would be at you know, maybe a 50-50 guess as to whether to play for singleton king or singleton jack of spades. Um, so they did very well coming down to singleton jack and two diamonds as well as king third of spades rather than king doubleton and a diamond. But very quickly, once again, we stepped through the play with all hands in view. We needed to start unblocking the heart suit, which is why I made sure to play the queen of hearts, then the jack of hearts, and eventually the eight of hearts so that we could get over to dummies seven six of hearts later in the play. Uh, cash the ace of diamonds, or win the ace of diamonds when they switch to that suit so that we have an exit card and dummy eventually if we are going to utilize the frozen spade suit. And then, you know, we ran our tricks. Once again, ace of clubs could have pitched a spade loser, making this hand a little trivial. Um, but east does well here throwing diamonds, west does well here throwing spades. And then we're left to this guess. Uh, how do you get these guesses correct? Well, bridge is a hard game sometimes. Sometimes you do it uh, the right way. This time, the fact that East was throwing the Queen of Diamonds and previously the Ten of Diamonds made me believe they were actually out of the diamond suit. In that case, West is holding on to the King Nine of Diamonds remaining and therefore the Singleton Jack of Spades. But I could have been wrong. Luckily, I wasn't, so I was able to make this video for you all. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the how-to about frozen suits, and I will see you all next time.